little bit of a life hack for you. If you're running an older diesel truck by yourself, a jug of the cheapest ATF you can buy. And every time you fuel her up, turf a little in the tank, a little extra lubrication never hurts when you're dealing with an old gal like this. Not to mention, basically like double the horsepower. Anyways, let's whip it. Go on, lie to me. If it means that you're still alive. As much as it looks like winter is over, we have a couple more weeks before we can officially start heading northbound. But lucky for me, west of Williams Lake is pretty much winter free. And it's basically an untapped market of adventure potential. We are officially Chilcoat and Bound. When you're traveling through the Chilcotin, there's a couple consistents you're gonna find, other than bumpy roads. That's ranches and reservations. Just coming up to Alkali Ranch here. It's a beautiful ranch sitting down in the valley. You get to drive right through the middle. I've always really enjoyed coming through here. I've been trying, trying to get you off of my mind. This week's adventure is actually the completion of a route that we tried to do last year but couldn't finish because of a washout. But we're going with a pretty loose plan. I do have a destination in mind, but if anything we find interesting in between, we'll be stopping to check it out. What should be a six to eight hour loop, probably gonna be several days. <laughs> stop here at the Alkali Lake. I always thought it was kind of funny that the whole ranch and area is named after this lake. Looks more like a reservoir. This is must be a spring water then because we're in a pretty bad drought here in BC right now. And it should be drier but you can see it's all the way up there. Anyway that's all. There we were, we said, the burning sky. We said, the reason to live with so much more to die. We fade to side, who has to go. Oh, oh. Throughout our trip here, we're going to be basically just trickling along through the grasslands. And it's really important to know where you're allowed to stay out here because the terrain heals at a much slower rate. We were fortunate last night to find this beautiful little pull-off just off the road right in the middle of the lava field. And the combination of yesterday evening, last night and this morning, I think we probably only had about three cars pass by. It's been really peaceful. And we're actually just before the turn off that we took last year to get to the west side of the Fraser River. We are staying on the east side this time, but I'd like to make the trip over and go take a closer look at that suspension bridge. First of all, I've never actually gotten out of the vehicle and taken a closer look at the bridge. And secondly, it's just a spectacular drive. So if you're a fan of beautiful views and having a good time, you're in for a real treat. I circle around, but you double back every time I turn you One quick little pit stop before we climb up the mountain because there is a farmhouse on the other side of this valley. Take off. Which requires a closer look. Now I, now I know. One 
issue with touring out west. Friggin' tick central. Would be nice not to get Lyme's disease. Oh wow, it's much larger than I thought. I thought it was just gonna be a little cabin. It's in pretty rough shape, that's for sure. It's strange how the access to the top floor is outside. Fancy staircase though, it was roofed and everything. Okie dokie, I'm bringing the drone back. I have to take off my pants and make sure there's no ticks. Unless there's one hidden in the butt crack. We appear to be tick free, which is good news. I was pretty sure I was gonna end up with a tick out here and it's from filming that car this morning. I was basically laying down in the grass, getting sick shots. <laughs> I thought there was somebody up there looking at me. It's just an old broken tree. There's that peeping tom tree right there. Just making our turn here at Dog Creek Reserve. Then we'll be climbing the mountain, throw on a set of wings, and just fly down to the Fraser. Spooling up for the hill climb! I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete. I'm dancing through. I don't care because I get on my way. That's the full on diesel powered mountain climber. There you have it, just cresting the summit. Shortly we'll be dropping down and it gets pretty radical. Good opportunity to answer everyone's favorite question. What's this red switch on my shifter? Contrary to popular belief, it's not an ejection seat, just an exhaust brake. And it makes these particular types of adventures not just feasible, but quite enjoyable. There's a good chance I'll do this entire hill without having to touch the brakes. we don't run into a grater on the way down. Classic Chilcotin traffic jam coming up. Got some horses. horse just flying down the hill towards the truck <laughs> oh there it goes just one horse final push down to the suspension bridge i don't know if these horses are wild but what i can tell you for sure is they are wild and How radical is this thing? Last year I did stop out there in the middle and it was quite windy that day. You could hear, feel the whole bridge swaying back and forth. Man, this thing's cool.
leave this camera out here on the bridge. Hopefully it'll catch how much the, this whole thing moves as the truck goes on here. Okay, I need everyone to think light and think short as we go underneath that cable. Tight squeeze. I don't think it moved at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Not much of a heights guy, so let's just get this over with. Well, I suppose the plan is turn around and go all the way back up. Hope you enjoyed the suspension bridge. Possible change of plans here. Just rolling into where I was going to camp, Brigham Springs. Stayed here last year, it's absolutely glorious, but simply because I was reading the map incorrectly, I see there's hot springs listed on here. You friggin' kidding me? Okay, I think I have a general game plan, but we gotta get to it because there's only a couple hours of sunlight left. And I'm not gonna film a whole lot on this backtrack, but we are gonna go back through Dog Creek. Then we're gonna go, drop down, back down the hill towards the suspension bridge. Don't know where we're gonna stay tonight, but it'd be great to do this run along the Fraser River while the sun is still up. Then we'll check out the hot springs. And then it looks like this road, I can continue following it and it'll meet up with the road I was gonna be going on before. And then there's a totally different detour that we're going to do. It might be an out and back. I'm not quite sure. But i am it's something I've always wanted to check out. Hopefully we can try it. We'll see if the truck is maybe too heavy. I'm not sure. But let's get into it before the sun goes down. Good thing we came back. Forgot the most critical step. Not even crooked. When we were young, watching the clouds go by, we often watched how they got so high, jammed as they went by. But we got older, caring about the time. Wondering how those memories got lost along the line. Home last night ended up being Churn Creek, which is just a beautiful place to spend a day. As a matter of fact, I could probably use a couple more, but today it's all about hunting down the hidden hot springs. It sounds like it could be quite a challenge to find these things. So I think the plan is we're just gonna put on a tasty jam and enjoy the drive. When we were young, Laugh and play till the sun went down I'm deep in the night But we got older When I set the ways I often wish you'd come back to me And see how I am today Oh 
just entering the very small and quite remote village of Canoe Creek. I'm gonna head in. I don't think they have a store or anything, but hopefully I can find a local. See if I can get some better directions to the hot springs and just confirm that I'm actually allowed to be on the land out here. Shouldn't be an issue. Really? Okay. Frick yeah, okay. Right on, thanks so much for your time. The locals are awesome here. Got great directions. Had a nice little chat. And before you know it, we're gonna be hot springing. Wishes are for children and boy are all grown. I said, baby, I got my wishes and hope you understand. I am 70, maybe 80% sure I'm at the right turn. And just to be clear, directions to get in here also came with permission from council to come in and do some filming. And if you're curious how rough the roads are, almost lost the e-bike. <laughs> Good thing for the safety strap. horses out here is unbelievable. Come on. Pretty skittish, but not wild because that one had face underwear. Man, that's a big one. Holy smokes. May as well see if he wants a pad. Come on. Check me out, you guys. Basically part of the herd. <laughs> they went the other way. They must have been just coming from the hot springs. I have a tremendous amount of doubt that this is the correct path. At this point, I'm quite certain I've taken a wrong turn. It's a lot further than I was expecting. I think I have found it. I found it. Oh, it looks so rad. The first set of directions I got, the gentleman said, yeah, that truck's probably not gonna make it in there. Second set of directions said, that truck will make it no problem. The first set of directions is by a landslide more accurate. I thought I'd been lost for about 20 minutes now. Look at this. I can't believe it. Couple of sweat lodges. Wow, what a beautiful place. So I think these are considered more of a warm spring. We're about to find out. Look at it just bubbling away. Oh man. <sighs> yes, certainly a warm spring. But I'm gonna take a dunk in it. Don't have to twist my arm. You know that I'm satisfied. Okay, listen, I'm quite aware of the pasty whiteness. Winter's just ending, let's get past it. But I don't know I consider it a warm spring. I think it's just a spring. Whew. It's enough to take your breath away. And once you're in it, it's not too bad. It's already kind of cool out here. I mean, there's snow on the ground right there.
Oh, oh, oh. oh that wind. <laughs> I gotta get dried off. Don't know whose idea it was not to bring a towel, but I sure don't appreciate that. I was hoping for a little bit more temperature in the springs, but it's so friggin' nice here, you just can't possibly complain. I went and murked it all up, but it's finally cleared up. I don't know what's in that hot spring water, but it sure does grow stuff. This <laughs> random side trip is officially a huge success. And we can save the previous planned destination for another time. Well, <laughs> this feels warmer than up there, but I think it's because I'm just really cold. <clears throat> Can you hear something walking through the forest over there? I'm a little bit nervous it's a bear. Somebody dropped a whole box of chocolates here. Surely a bear can smell it. They'll be coming to eat those chocolates right away. Just taking a closer look at these sweat lodges. This one's just willows and blankets. And then they've collected lava rock that you heat up in a fire. They have a whole collection of it here. Then you bring it in and it heats up the sweat lodge. This one's showing its age a little bit more because it's got all this weight on it, but this is more of a kind of traditional sweat lodge with wood and then buried. But it smells like a pack rat. <laughs> I just can't stop looking at this thing. Just so cool out here, middle of nowhere, completely natural. Just sand. I was digging my feet down in the bottom there and it's really nice sand and then gravel underneath. Those bubbles have absolutely no smell to them at all. In fact, the spring itself has no smell, which is surprising, but what a beautiful place out here. But the sun's going down, so we gotta get the heck out of here. Now that was an awesome adventure. It's almost dark, so we have to get serious about finding somewhere to camp. I'm just taping the whole thing on there with electrical tape. There we go. She ain't fancy, <laughs> but it'll work. And I'll be honest, I feel a lot more at home with a bit of jank in my operation. The final phase of this adventurous plan is pretty basic. Just have to get back out to the highway. We've covered a couple hundred kilometers of really amazing back road on this trip. And studying the map last night, I've identified several more what look to be really great loops that I've put in the book for future adventures. But my family has a get together today in about eight hours, so we hammer down, should be perfect timing. Two years in a row now, the Chilcotin has been a testing ground for the rig, and two years in a row, she's passed with flying colors. And I feel super honored to be able to share my backyard with all of you, so I hope you've enjoyed another season start in the beautiful Chilcotin region of British Columbia. But most of all, thanks for watching everybody. As always, take nothing but pictures, 
leave nothing but footprints, and I'll catch you on the next one. You can bring the heat, and you can bring the thunder. Better take a seat, cause greatness is among you. Ah!